Hi, welcome to my home. I thought because we can't cook in school, I'd have a go at cooking at home and then you can go away and have a go. Now you might get interrupted with all sorts of things, most likely my dog Teddy. So obviously I haven't got the same equipment that you've got at home and we've got at school, but a wooden spoon or a spoon, a peeler, a sharp knife, a tablespoon, a saucepan, a measuring jug. Okay, so under my chopping board, I've got a, a J cloth, a wet J cloth, and I'm gonna use that as my slip mat. And this is my chopping board. Obviously, we're not at school, so I haven't got my color coded um, chopping boards. Now, the first thing you're going to do, this is my waste bowl. We're going to peel the carrots and we're gonna peel the potato and put the rubbish into the bowl. Now, so with your peeler, peel towards the chopping board all the way along your carrot. And then, when you have done that, put those bits into the waste bowl and with your sharp knife, top and tail your carrot. Okay, remember when you're cutting the top and tail off your carrot to use your claw grip, hold it nice and firmly and then slice, slice. Okay, so I'm going to cut these into dice cut, mace stone. First of all, I'm going to cut my carrot into easier to handle chunks. And then I'm going to slice them using the bri bridge cut, bridge. I'm going to slice the carrot in half. So I've got a flat base to make it safer on the chopping board, like so, so it doesn't wobble. Okay, so I've collected myself a bowl to put my cuts of vegetables into when they are ready. Now with each of my carrot slices, I'm going to cut it in half again using the bridge cut, so your fingers hold the carrot down the side safely so your, so your knife is nowhere near your carrot, your top. Okay, so I might have said that a little bit wrong just then. I meant, so your fingers are nowhere near the knife. Now, I am cutting these now into tiny little dice cuts, so mace stone. Now, I've got all of this carrot to cut up, so I repeat the process one more time, so bridge, slice down the middle, claw, cutting all the way along the carrot. Okay, so I'm gonna get back to you after I've done the carrots. Go. Okay, so I'm gonna peel my potato. Again, avoiding your fingers with the peeler. Peel downwards towards the chopping board. Whoops. <laughs> and just keep going, keep on going. <laughs> they get a bit slimy and slippy. Hello, Emily, daughter in the background. Hello, oh, Yeah. Hi. <laughs> okay. Making me a lovely cup of tea. That's the thing about filming at home. Okay, so I have peeled my potato. This goes into the waste bowl. Again, you using my sharp knife, cut it into half. So you've got a flat, safe edge. Okay, with your potatoes then, you need to cut, using your claw, your potato into more manageable size chunks. A little bit like you're making chips. Using your bridge, slice them into half sizes again. 
and then use your claw to make them into about half centimeter size chunks do that all the way along and then do that with each of your pieces of potato so they're going to be small chunks like that okay so i've placed my carrots and my potato into my bowl they're all diced up now i'm going to move on to my onion so the onion has a skin on it that you need to remove now the easiest way of removing it is hold it in the bridge slice your onion in half and then peel off all your skin now that helps Okay, so the root holds all the onion together and where the shoot would be, that is the end that we cut. So the root, this area here, holds it together. So I'm going to slice diagonally a little bit using my claw grip, slice into my onion. Now I'm cut, not cutting all the way to the end and the reason I'm not cutting all the way to the end is because the root end holds it all together and I've got little fingers now then again claw the root end and then you are going to dice your onion finely into about two centimeter strip pieces okay so I've sliced up all my onion all my root bits go into my waste bowl all of my onion then goes into my bowl ready for cooking now on to the tomato so where the tomato would have been attached to the vine we're going to cut using a bridge straight through and then we've got our flat area to make it safe to cut and we're going to cut our tomato using the claw into chunks right I'm going to just move my tomato over to one side I don't want that in my bowl with everything else what I'm going to do next is my stick of celery now make sure you wash well your stick of celery because they get very muddy and again we're going to do the whole top and tail our celery cut the bits at the end off because they're a bit dry and then we're going to cut this into little bridge shapes all the way along using the claw about five millimeters thick we're going to do about half a centimeter all the way along our celery until you get to the end Good. okay so i've done my celery last of all my clove of garlic now this also has a skin on it like your red onion and i'm going to take that off now the way to do that is to put the blade away from you put the knife onto the garlic clove with a base your hand give it a crush that then means that you can get your skin of your garlic off really nice and easily and we're going to then chop this like little teeny tiny pieces little thin slices as thin as you can get using the claw going all the way along after we have done that if the end will dry you can throw that into the waste after you've done that go into a little pile and then one finger on the front of the knife very very slowly very very gently your fingers point into the ceiling you're going to rock the knife over those pieces of garlic to get them into very small fine pieces 